Well, thank everybody for joining me. Hey, just want to give you an update from what I heard. I got some emails overnight saying that there has been a body found and recovered in the southern Philippines, a white male. It is presumed to be Elliot Eastman, the YouTuber, the uh, guy that was from Vermont, mid-20s, living in the southern Philippines with his, his new bride. And um, there is a, a Facebook video out there. I'll put that in my links uh, down below, so if you want to click on it and go see that the the video is pretty graphic so be aware of that it does look like this could really be eastman we're not for sure at this point obviously we can't say definitely it is you don't see a bullet wound in his leg but then again the body is bloated and the bullet hole could easily have swollen shut he has suffered massive trauma to the head and uh, he is wearing boxer shorts or gym shorts some kind of shorts that looks familiar to some of what I may have seen in some of his other social media posts. There's a lot of speculation about what actually happened on the ground. And none of us know for sure what the situation is. I know the Philippine family is under scrutiny. The Philippine community there in southern Philippines is under scrutiny. I also know a lot of people want to put the Muslim faith at fault, which they're not. The faith is not the problem. The community may have had a hand in this, but we don't know yet. I would encourage you to reserve judgment on anybody until we know the whole story, if we will ever know the whole story, which I don't believe we will. I've gone back and watched every bit of his social media. I have watched all of the videos on his YouTube channel more than once. And in my opinion, in my opinion only, this is just an opinion, I, I have the feeling from watching my interpretation of what he was doing was he didn't seem to sincerely want to fit into that community. He was more interested in YouTube clout or fame by bragging about how he was living in the most dangerous place in the world. There was no real kind words about his community or his family. So there is a good possibility that maybe in such of a tight niche community where he did not want to fit in, he did not try to simulate, that they took it in their own hands to rid themselves of somebody who did not want to be there. And remember folks, he could have packed his bags and left that community at every time. So let's reserve judgment on the community, on him, Elliot, uh, Eastman himself, the family, and the people of the Philippines until we know all of the facts. That's all we can do. Thank you.